Hey folks, back again uh, with another installment in the R Markdown series. This time we're going to look at some ways that you can use R Markdown to help you uh, very conveniently and clearly ask questions and answer questions online, especially through Canvas as we're doing the rest of the course. So suppose you're in the situation where uh, Oops, uh, don't know what just happened there. Ah, okay, suppose you're in a situation where <clears throat> you are trying to write a function, uh, my func up here, and uh, the problem is uh, that when you try to define it to get it into your global environment over here, uh, you get this uh, error down here in the uh, console. And it's some kind of syntax error, uh, but you just can't seem to find it. You'd like to ask a question about it. So you might head over to um, you know, discussions, and you might uh, pick some discussion that's, uh, for, that's relevant. Let's say it's uh, the, a certain chapter's discussion where you'd like to post. And uh, so you head out for make a reply to this discussion. And, uh, and you can just talk about your problem. You know, I defined a function, and then you can head back to our studio and you can copy the code and paste it in. And then you can uh, say, well, uh, but I get this error. And then you head back to our studio and you very carefully copy out the error that you got in the console and uh and there's your question and this is kind of the basics of a question very specific, uh, your code and then what went wrong. And uh, so you could post that and, and that would be fine. And people could try to respond. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete that post. And um, let's try another uh, way that you might handle the same issue. Instead of uh, copying from an R script and copying from the console, you could actually uh, make uh, a little R Markdown document. So uh, when you do it uh, with the intention of posting to Canvas, uh, in the YAML front matter, just say output colon space HTML underscore fragment. Output should be HTML underscore fragment. And then a mix of code chunks and uh, text as usual. So you have a little setup code chunk where you have the option error equals true so that your errors will be shown when you knit up the document. And then you write a little essay. I'm defining this function. Here's the function in the code chunk. But you see that I get a syntax error. And that's because you know that when this is knit up, it's going to try to run that code and it'll get the error. OK, let's go ahead and knit this document. And it's uh, very, very unstylish because it's just an HTML fragment, but it has the basic information that you need. And so it exists uh, right next to um, the question, the, the R Markdown document itself. Here it is, a question.html. I am going to pop that up, and instead of viewing it in a web browser, I'm going to open it in the editor. And uh, then uh, I'll just uh, copy the entire document and I'll head over to uh, Canvas again and I'll uh, post my question and what you do is you ask for the HTML editor and then you paste in your uh, document and you post that and as you can see uh, you get the uh, 
code and the error that it generates when it's run along with the text that you wrote into that R Markdown document. So uh, this is a quick way to post some very simple stuff involving R. Um, there are limitations. You're not going to be, it's not going to be able to deal with any images that are produced. Uh, so when we get to the chapter on graphing, uh, this is not going to be too helpful. Uh, you can't uh, work with anything really, really long because uh, there's a limit on uh, how much you can post inside of a discussion board. But for the short kind of stuff that we're uh, working with up through about chapter seven, this is really quite handy. Another option is to actually, um, let's give this a try. Simply um, describe your problem briefly. Um, I cannot uh, define my function C attached file and then uh, ask to attach uh, a, a ask, ask, ask to attach uh, an HTML document. Now, you, if it's on the server, you'll have to download it from the server onto your computer and then attach it here, and that could get kind of old. But if you publish something to our pubs, then you can just go to whatever you want to attach. So let's see, uh, let me go to my account, GCCSC. And uh, how about that sample article? Uh, I'll open that up, grab the URL, and uh, head back. And uh, I'll say, see the article here. And then I just simply highlight that and ask to link to URL. And uh, then I insert that link and post that reply. And now when people read it, they can click on that link and they can, you know, see whatever it is that I wanted to talk about. So this is a, using R pubs is a great way to ask or answer a question, especially to answer a question when you might write something longer. So you write up an R Markdown document, you knit it to HTML, you published R pubs, then you head over to Canvas and you insert uh, a link uh, in your reply uh, to that um, RPUBS article. Hope this is all helpful for you. That concludes our R Markdown series. Uh, see you soon on other topics.